Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. In today's video, I'm sharing everything I picked up this week for my family of four plus puppy. This week, I'm actually planning ahead for Thanksgiving. So I grabbed a few things for the holiday time and I also grabbed some sales that were a really great deal and I was able to stock up on those items this week. So with that being said, let's jump right into this week's haul. Alrighty, so this is everything I got this week. I'll start over here. First, I grabbed some clementines. We love these and the price is always good at Costco. This week, I grabbed two bunches of organic bananas, a yellow bunch, and hopefully a decent green bunch because last time the green bunch wasn't good. Um, but grabbed two bunches. I also grabbed some red grapes. The sun is really shining in here today. I grabbed some red grapes. The price was really, really good. So picked up grapes this week. Over here, I stocked up on this salmon because there was a sale and we actually did not need to get this at all because we've been doing some shelf cooking. So we've been shopping our freezer and our deep freezer for proteins for meals and we always have a whole bunch of stuff that we can do for sides and veggies so to save money on the grocery costs right now i've been purposely doing some shelf cooking but with this sale it's too good to pass up and i do have a little room in my freezer so one box will go straight to my deep freezer and the other box will go straight to my regular freezer and this should hold me over for maybe like a month. Maybe I shouldn't need to buy salmon again until November. Fingers crossed that that's how this plays out because that's how I really want it to play out. Um, but yeah, this is a really good deal. Plus it's wild salmon. The only thing that's not really that great about this, I believe, is the oil that they use. And if you're low sodium, this does have sodium in it. So maybe it's something you want to stay away from. But I love it for a quick and easy meal. I love that it's wild caught. I love that it's affordable. And I also love that you can do it from frozen or you can thaw it out and do it then too. Um, but this is just like a staple for us in our home, especially for those busy weeks when you don't know what's for dinner. Salmon, rice, veggie, quick, easy meal, just like that. Next up, I grabbed some lamb chops. Last week, I didn't have to buy any lamb. This week, technically, I didn't need to buy any lamb either. But I figured it's something that, you know, my family always enjoys. Yes, we have a whole bunch of other things we can go for right now in our freezer. But this is a crowd pleaser. So, I mean... I just I just went and I got it I got it <laughs> next up I grabbed this pack of crackers funny enough last week this was on my grocery list and when I went in the store it wasn't on sale and I was planning to get it but then I remembered crackers like that are always on sale right before Thanksgiving so I thought let me just wait a little bit if it's not on sale just before Thanksgiving I know it's gonna go on sale like right after Thanksgiving it always goes on sale in October and sure enough, it's on sale, so I picked it up this week. I love when I know exactly when products are going to go on sale because it really helps me to make more conscious buying decisions, um, especially when I'm planning ahead. I feel like I, I get to save the most money when I plan ahead, and so I planned ahead for these crackers. <laughs> so now we should have crackers until at least mid-November? Can we push it that far? I'm not sure. The holidays are right around the corner, so probably not. But anytime in November, I'm good with that. I just don't want to have to buy crackers for all of October, and then I'm good with that. And I love that my kids like these crackers, too. I like to have it with, like, whipped cream cheese. Ooh, so good. Um, but this is perfect for charcuterie boards as well. So if you're doing a charcuterie board for the holiday season, I highly encourage you to get these crackers because the price is actually really, really good. Now, over here, I stocked up on some Better Than Bouillon. I wish they had the chicken flavor also on my shelf today, but they didn't. I used the chicken flavor for my turkey, so I'm a little bummed out they don't have that, but I do have a little in my fridge, so that'll do for now. Anyways, I grabbed one of the veggie Better Than Bouillon. This is good for veggie soups. 
If you're going to do beans and you want them to be really good flavored, like beans from scratch, you can put that in there too and it's really good. And then I grab the beef. The beef I love for all my roasts. If I'm doing a roast from scratch and I'm doing it in my Instant Pot, I feel like this just gives it all the flavor plus more. So I like to get this for soups as well. Sometimes when I do soup, like a beef soup, I'll put that in there. But if you look at the dates on these, the beef is going to expire in 2025. And the veggie is going to expire in 2026. So once these are open, I just store them in the back of my fridge. And everything that goes to the back of my fridge almost gets frozen. And I never have a problem going through it before it expires. But these are staples. If you're looking to get like veggie broth, get this and just add water and you have your own veggie broth. Plus it's organic. And if you're looking for beef broth, get this. <laughs> add water and you can have organic beef broth. It helps cut down on space like we are so unlimited with space in our home that getting something like this and making our own broth from it is just like the easiest way to go. It takes up less space and the ingredients are super amazing. So I highly recommend getting Better Than Bouillon if you're looking for, you know, a broth substitute. Um, and I also like to saute veggies with this in there too and it's really, really good. So that's just something great to have always. Then we were out of turkey bacon, everyone's favorite bacon right now. So I picked up some more. This will go straight in our freezer. I also was completely out of sponges. And I promised myself you will not buy sponges again until they're on sale. Sure enough, this month sponges are on sale. I only have to buy sponges maybe once a year now. Maybe twice a year if I'm being really irresponsible. <laughs> but I mean, I love when I get to buy something once and then I don't have to think about it again for the rest of the year. That's always a win in my book. Now, back here, I'll get to those items next. But I'll let me just start over here. I picked up three packages of the Downy Unstoppables. This is my favorite scent. The container is massive. I feel like the container is bigger than it used to be. I mean, it does say 30% more. Um, but yeah, I love this for the laundry. So I stocked up because there was a sale on. This is my pack for now. Literally, the pack that we have is legit done. And this is going to be for later and that's going to be the one to hold me over between the next sale. So that's kind of how I like to buy my laundry stuff. I like to buy them in threes because I find that the sales run every few months. So if you do it like this, you'll eventually come around six months from now is probably when I'll need this again because one package lasts us two months and I'm sure there'll be a sale then. Hopefully it's like the PNG sale where I get to get a shop card back for spending a certain amount of money on Procter & Gamble products. So if that's the case, <laughs> I hope that's the case for me because I really, really um, want to get this again with some other type of deal. And the last time I, I stocked up on stuff like this, I did get a whole bunch of uh, shop cards for doing that. So it's like I'm earning to shop, you know? Anyways, I grabbed more of these plates. We don't actually need any, but there was a sale on because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And I know that with Thanksgiving right around the corner, we'll go through a lot of these plates. And I just wanted to ensure that I don't have to pay full price for it. So I grabbed an extra pack and I tend to only buy this when it's on sale. So that's something great that I get. And we always get the lunch size plates. It's the perfect size for our family and it always works for us. Next up, I grab some orange juice. You know, that's a regular staple for us. Four of them come in that box. And then for Thanksgiving, I got my girls a little sparkly juice. So this is organic sparkling juice. Basically, it's like a kid version of, you know, what adults would drink. It's non-alcoholic, no sugar added, and the flavors are amazing. There's two apple pears, which are super light and sweet. But not like very sweet. When I say light and sweet, I mean like very refreshing and sweet, not like overly sweet. Oh, and I'm just realizing this is made in France. That's cool. So this is really, really cool. Anyways, and they also have one of the apple raspberry. My kids always love the apple raspberry the most. <laughs> and then they go to the apple pear. But I find that both flavors are really good. So I went ahead and picked that up for them so they could have something fancy to drink for Thanksgiving. And with that being said, that's the overview of everything I picked up this week at Costco. So I'm in my laundry room putting away uh, the Unstoppables. 
and this is what I have left from my previous bottle but I noticed that the bottle size really is different so this one as you can see is 34 ounces and this is what Costco used to sell okay so side by side the bottles look pretty similar but I did notice a significant difference and that's because this is sliding off <laughs> because I'm doing this on top of my washer um, but this one is 39.9 ounces compared to 34.4 I paid the exact same price for both so I think that this is a really good deal or at least I think I paid the exact same price <laughs> I can't remember now um, but it is good to see that this is a bigger bottle the price is still really good um, and now I'm glad that I'm stocked up I'm really really glad that I stocked up all right, so I'm gonna run and put all this stuff away. And then I'm gonna come back and share more shelf cooking meals that I made for my family this week. So this week for dinner, I thought I would share with you one of my favorite recipes, which costs like little to no money, super affordable, but also extremely flavorful. And it literally only takes like maybe 10 or 15 minutes to put together. This is completely inspired by the Costco sample tables and things that they offer. But I always like to keep this in my back pocket for when I need a quick, easy night that is vegetarian, affordable, super versatile. You can do it with meat if you want to. You can do it without the chickpeas if you want to. But let me tell you what I'm making. Today, we're going to be making some chickpea coconut curry. The star of the show here is the KFI coconut curry sauce. This is on sale this week at Costco. I would have shared that in my recent shop. And I'm gonna do chickpeas as my protein because this is what they serve it with at Costco's sample table. They always do this sauce with the chickpeas and they serve it over rice. So that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make coconut curry chickpeas with rice. This is an Indian inspired dish definitely not traditional they normally would put in way more work than what we're doing we're simply warming up this sauce in a pan and also just heating up the peas in the pan as well so first i like to saute the peas for a few minutes and then i just add the sauce in let the flavors marinate and combine and then serve it over rice and it's easy sometimes i like to serve this with a green veggie just to sort of balance things out a bit but honestly chickpeas and rice you don't need anything else this is so filling this is so flavorful and it's so easy and takes literally no time so i love having this on standby this is actually my last can of chickpeas just in case you're curious this is the can of chickpeas that i also get from costco um and it comes in like a pack of i believe eight it's organic and like amazing quality i love it um and then this coconut curry normally when i bought this i bought it when kfi has a road show and it's usually like three for a certain price but right now i know costco has like a two pack of this and it's really good and i think that the one at costco is a bigger jar this is a small jar because i've had this in my pantry for a while and i've also had this chickpeas in my pantry for a while so let's get cooking let's make some indian inspired quick and easy weeknight meal perfect for the end of the week when you literally don't have time to do anything else in life and also perfect for those who are just trying to save a little bit and not skimp out on flavor this is it so let's get to cooking so the first thing I always recommend you doing is starting with your rice since that's going to take probably the most amount of time. So I have some basmati rice that I've already rinsed and added water to my pot. I'm just cooking one cup of rice and I use like one and a half cups of water to do that. I let it come to a boil and then I turn it on a low simmer and then it kind of steams itself for like a good 10 minutes and I find that it's always perfect. You can also make your rice in the instant pot if you're making a bigger portion, that helps as well. And then I also have here a non-stick skillet. So this is my T-Fal non-stick skillet. I'm just heating it up right now, then I'm gonna spray it with some oil, and then I'm going to add in my rinsed and drained chickpeas to kind of toast them up first. And then I'm gonna add my sauce and let that simmer until the rice is done cooking. 
and that's all we have to do today super quick and easy but I love this because you don't have to sacrifice flavor and it's way cheaper than takeout because this would cost so much if we were ordering for takeout and in just like a minute look my rice is already starting to bubble so that's a sign I need to get started on getting things ready Okay, so this coconut curry chickpea and rice is so good. So easy to make and it always hits the spot for me. It's really, really good. So I hope you guys give this a try. I'm gonna take a bite and hope I don't burn my mouth. <laughs> it's one of those things that I know I'm always gonna love, but it's one of those things that I'm so impatient to try and I always burn my tongue before I get to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just in case you're wondering, this is definitely spicy. So if you're not a fan of spice, this is probably not going to be the option for you. But if you like spice and you appreciate convenience, no one can tell me I didn't make this in 10 minutes on the stove. It's unreal, but it's real. And it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is so good. Alright, so I'm gonna run and get a drink to enjoy with this. Probably another buble. And I really do hope you enjoyed this week's recipe and I hope you enjoyed this week's haul. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me and sticking around to the very end of this video. You are amazing. I'm so thankful to have all of you supporting the channel. So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching this one and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys!